Good morning, class. Good, Good morning. morning. How are you doing today? Good, Good. 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 Welcome to Mr. Cannon's Science Lab. Today we'll be learning converting units of measurement. Today, in our science lab, we'll be learning about, well, we will be measuring, if I were to drink this whole bottle of Minute Maid juice, how many milliliters would I have consumed? So the first thing you do to draw your hypothesis is qualitative and quantitative data. So, what color is this? Orange. Orange, yes. Orange, so sight. Using your senses, sight, color, orange. Okay, I need somebody to smell this for me. Anybody wants to smell? You? Okay, yes sir, smell that for me. What's it smell like? Tell me what it smells like. It smells like fruit. It smells like fruit. Okay. Bring out some vegetables. Mm -hmm. Now, if you don't mind, I mean, I'm not, you're gonna get it anyway. Taste it for me. Tell me what it tastes like. <laughs> it tastes like mango and pineapple. Mangoes and pineapples. That's my favorite fruit, too. Okay. Now, is this a solid, liquid, or gas? Liquid. It's a liquid. Yes, sir. Now, Qualitative is stuff that cannot be measured. So you really cannot measure, like, using a ruler, any of these. You have to use your senses. Quantitative data is the data that can be that can be measured. So what do you think? Like, temperature? Uh, what else? Mass? You just throw them out there. And no more. Starts with a V. Volume. Volume. There we go. Okay. So, for you to remember this, I have a little song for you guys. A song. A song. Yes, a song. Ready? Repeat after me. Touch, smell, taste, sight. Use these four of you by qualitative right. Touch, smell, taste, sight. Use these four of you by qualitative right. Yay! Touch, smell, taste, sight. Use these for you got qualitative right. Good job, good job, guys, good job. Remember that. Now, for your formula to actually converting units of measurement. Okay, so since this is a observational study and not a experiment, we will not have a dependent variable and independent variable. But now for the actual experiment or observation. I have 12 human ounces of this juice. Does anybody want to go to the board and do the math? You do? Okay, shoot. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Eddie, let's see. Y'all think you're going to get this right? Yes. Yes, sir. Right. It's 12, right? Yes. Correct, sir. We have 354 milliliters of drink. Now, for your reward, here's your drink. Thank you, Mr. Cannon. Yes, sir. And that concludes our lab for today.